Well, hello, Man Cavers, and how are you today? Right, what are we going to be doing? I have got a little bit of stuff, and I was going to show you what I've got. Right, let's go through this bucket and this box. This will give you a clue, perhaps, and let's see what's in these things. Ah. Wow, Man Caver's face space marketplace strikes again, and I saw a cracking deal on. Uh, let's move this one on the stuff that's in this box. And after I'd done the deal on that, he said I can have this lot for free. So, what box shall we go through first? Let's go through what I actually bought. And yes. This is a bit more lathe stuff, if I can fathom out the box, come on, done, here we go. All right, here we are, oh, we have boxes. Oh, look at all these in here. Look at all these micrometers, look. Yeah, we have bits and pieces. Gauges, gauges, now the guy I got these off, he was 97. And he was a retired machinist, as you can probably tell. Let's throw that box away. So we have a set of, what are these? I don't know, I call these internal gauges. So you can measure a bore at one end and draw it out and see if it's the same. I don't know, a witness. I don't know. we lay he down there. We have a smaller one here as well. Look at that little bad boy. Isn't that lovely? Yeah. We have micrometer. What's this? Three to four inch, I think, this one. There we are. We'll have to give them a good clean up. We have a smaller micrometer. This one's two to three inch. We have a little engineer's ruler, which has got hundreds of thousands. See how these things, what are these? I don't know what they are. There we go. There's the name on them. Yeah. They're um, something or other. Oh, I think they're angle finders or something. What tell you what angle a, a pipe is. Small set. There's a larger set here. All very nice stuff. Good quality as well, I think. See how, oh, yes, we've got half inch. Look. We've got three quarter inch. There we are. We've got some stuff. We have some angle gauges. Another little set of these. I think these are num oh these are different ones. These are number two o fours. So what number are these? We've got two o fours. Oh, these are two o fours as well. Two sets of two o fours. This I think is a two inch witness block, so you can calibrate your two to three inch micrometer by setting him in there like so. I think that's how you do them. And then when you nip him up on the ratchet. There you go, well, that's, your, that's two inches. There we are. So you can calibrate how good that is. What have we got in this box? Another micrometer. There we are. So we've got a little baby one. He goes in that box. What have we got in this box? Another one. We have micrometers galore. So I think we have a set here for everything, look. This one's a one to two inch. So this'll be this'll be zero to one inch, one to two inch, two to three inch, and three to four inch. So we have them there. What's in this little box? Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Now this, I believe. If I take everything and put it all back together, somehow, can't remember how that all goes. Do that come on that end, I haven't got a clue how all this works. Right, I think what this thing is, now it looks to me like you put him over here, like so. I think you screw him in here. Which somehow locks that on. And I think that's a little bore gauge. 
so you can set this to where you want see what I mean I think that's a little micrometer you can slide that in a bore because it's got a rounded end on here and a slight round on this end so I think that is a little bore gauge so you can slide in to measure something accurately isn't that a lovely little thing such detail Whoa, camera swap and lenses. Look at that, look. There we are. Right, so we've got all this caper, and I'm like, i got this lathe, and I don't, haven't really got any tools to use with it. So I got this little lot. We'll have a look. I'm trying to weigh up what this little screw is here for. I thought that screwed on there. That don't. I ain't a thread on that end, so I can't go on that end. I don't know. We'll put it back in there and say we never see it. There is a posh little spanner come with it, if that's anything to do with it. I don't know. And in here, here we have some radius gauges. Stirret number 167C. And in here, here we have all of our radius gauges, a full set. Am I ever going to use these? Maybe, maybe not. But we have them. Right. Let's have a look through the box he gave me for free. So if I quickly pull this stuff back. I don't know. Oh, there's a there's a rod in there. Is this for calibration or something? It's got something written on it, that. I haven't got a clue, but that's in there. I think that's the one for there. There we go. So we now have a box of micrometers. Yeah. So we'll set them in there nicely. Put the piece over. I think that's actually meant to be stuck. I think that's meant to be stuck in the lid. We'll re-stick that at some point. Anyhow. Them ones come in boxes. These two didn't. All right, I'll put that calibration gauge. We'll put all these bits we've got here. We'll put them in our little tray of sundries and then we'll go through this free box. And I think these are angle gauges where you can measure your degree of your cutting tool for your lathe. I think that's what they are. Right, we'll come through here. There we go, we have a barrel marker pen. They don't feel a lot of good in that. An old steel rod, I really don't know what's in here. He just gave me this bucket and said, you can have that. Allen key, another little set. A big number four wedge, whatever that's for. There's another wedge here that says... 903 on the end, so what that's for, I don't know. What's in here? Screw pitch gauge. Oh, here we go. It's a set of screw pitch gauges here. Look, there we are. I don't know what threads they do. Haven't got a clue. No, M and, M and W screw pitch gauge Sheffield. There we are. So maybe you can get something off them. I think that'll measure thread pitches. Oh, lovely little set of pliers. I don't know what this is. I'd like to say it's a file, but it isn't a file. Any end, there's no file and surface on there. Any idea what that is, guys? It's pointed, but it's got no file surface. That's smooth. In fact, that's sharp. A little bit like a knife up this end. That's like it's been sharpened. Goodness knows. There is something written on there, but goodness knows what that is well there's another tool that one's got a bend in it which i think is meant to be there there's a cut away at the back and it's rounded and smooth at the front but it's bent and i think that's meant to be like that it certainly looks like he's scribbled something in there can't quite make it out but he scribbled something in there This thing, whatever is this? This is like a plastic handle. And that's like metal. 
It's not magnetic, I just touched it on the voice. Goodness knows what that is coming at its own little packet. I have no clue. Well, we have a tiny little file and a packet of files. Look at all these little files in here, look. Tiny little files, guys. Wow, they are minute little. Look at them little files, look. Tiny little files. Well, there you go. I don't think we're ever going to run out of little files. There's another piece of rod. An empty box. Another engineer's ruler. Set of these things, manual ones. A good old set of feeler gauges. There you go, are some good ones. Good make as well, Sheffield England. Look. Safe and sure, number 911. There we are. We have. Well, that's a cutthroat razor. I don't know what that's doing in there. Another Allen key. Probably used them for chucks. There's an empty box here. Which is meant to have another set of screw pitch gauges. Which I believe are here. A bit rusty, but they're all there. Let's put them back in that bar. Oh, there you go. They live in that box, look. A little centre punch. Another little set of gauges. There we go. Some measuring gauges. Another engineer's ruler. There's some little bits, little bits of tube there I can look at. There's some more thread pitch gauges, some more thread pitch gauges. A perfectly machined steel block. I don't know what that's for. Maybe a witness block. I don't know what that's for. Hollow one end, got a hole the other. Ain't got a clue. Washes. A little spanner, half inch. Another little bit of round stock. This look like a pin for something because that's tape at each end. And we have a lot of sundries in here. Another little bit of rod. A good old... Yeah, a good old tap set there or a die. There's a witness block there. Just a normal piece of round stock. Another normal... Oh, hang on. Are these pieces of normal round stock? They've got cutouts on the edges. So maybe they are something... Oh, yeah, they've got something pressed in them. They've got something stamped in them. So these are obviously something. But I don't know what. There's a little chuck key there for something. And what we got left in the box? A number 11... Whatever that is, it has this. I don't know, it's curved. It's got a bit of writing on it. I don't know what that is. A little piece of what looked like, oh, it's a bit of chalk to mark your metal. Several drill bits. There's a piece out of a milling attachment there. Oh, a centre drill. I could certainly use them. Whatever these are. There's a device there, they look like jaws out or a little chuck, I don't know, they're screwed together, look, what are they? Or is that a piece out of a milling machine? I haven't got a clue. Couple of ball bearings. Whatever this thing is, that looked like some really cut down lathe tool, I wouldn't have a clue what that is. Whatever that is, another file. Look like another little lathe bit. Whatever this is. What is this thing, guys? It's like... It's like got ground off witness marks at the top. A thread and a hole. All machined. Any idea what that is? I haven't got a clue. We have a number 79. We have a little half moon thing. Plenty of drill bits. Some files. Here we are, more files, old pencils. Here we go, I think. Now I think there's a couple of carbide carbide lathe tool heads in there. Look, excellent stuff. 
another little metal block what's been made for something, probably a spacer, another little shim out of something, another die set, a drill bit, whatever that thing is, another little half moon piece, another little piece, there we go, we have some stuff here, and the rest of this is just, uh, well, it looks like old coins to me. There's a number tag in there. Some really micro little drill bits. Tiny little centre drill as well. Look, I need to keep them in my little box of lathe tools. Bits. There's some more Allen keys in there. Some tiny little spanners for something. Little pieces here. Have he made these up for something? Wouldn't have a clue. They've been machined and turned for something. But I don't know what. There's another centre drill there. More Allen keys. And I think all we got in there is some rubbish. So this was what we got for free, guys. So if any of you guys know what any of this is, let me know, because I wouldn't have a clue what any of this is. Especially these things with the chamfers on them. Whatever are they? I've got proper little chamfers ground in them. Hmm, I don't know. Either way, we will keep all of this stuff. Talking of stuff like this, don't forget the Barry Hawkins auction. Finishes on Monday. It's online only. Get over there and have a look. There's a lot of um, engineering stuff and lays and... Some really specialist equipment in there. So go over to Barry Hawkins website. Have a look. Auction finishes Monday night. And it's now Friday. Right. We're going to leave this little video here I think. Because we've looked at things I got. I've got to find a suitable home for this lot. And then yeah. We'll go from there. But for now. I will see you next time. Bye bye for now. Ha ha. What is all of this stuff?